All right, guys, a quick update for today. Um, I know most of you guys are probably pretty excited when you get new tools around the shop, and I am too, so I uh, just wanted to show you this. I, I had an old uh, Black & Decker set up that, uh, you know, had the, a drill and impact, and the batteries just got to the wear. They didn't last, and um, and the tools themselves were, were pretty beat up just from, you know, having them for several years. So got this uh, Bosch 18-volt lithium set. Um, with a drill and impact so uh, should be good to go there now so uh, anyway we're gonna try to get this thing in primer tonight we've uh, got it all blocked out with 120 grit we're gonna go back over it with 180 and um, work on this cross member down here and get hit it with a wire wheel and try to get the get the rust cleaned off of it we may have to just uh, put a little bit of converter on it to uh, get the remainder of the surface rust off and then we'll do epoxy primer and um, and then some high build uh, quick question on the on the epoxy. I know a lot of you guys. Uh, I still see um, using etch primer on the bare metal, and um, you know I'm just kind of confused by that. Don't know too much about it. Um, but when I was doing the research initially, it seemed like you know on some of the forums I was looking on that um, you know epoxy primer was the best way to go over bare metal and body filler, and then of course high build on top of that. So. Just curious if the if the etch over bare metal is a preference thing, or if uh, some of you feel that it you know is a, it adheres better to the metal, or just what. So, uh, be interested to hear your thoughts on that. So, anyway, we'll come back in a little bit and show you what it looks like when we get uh, get it ready for primer. All right, well we've got everything uh, masked off here, and uh, getting ready to spray some uh, primer on this. And uh, as you can see, we got Matt. Uh, Wiping everything down with a uh, wax and grease remover, and we're going to put some plastic on the floor and tape it down. And uh, we'll go ahead and spray this thing with some primer. We'll show you what that looks like when we're done. All right, in addition to priming the car, we, uh, we've we got a few parts that we need to paint. We're going to um, prime our intercooler pipes that we made. And uh, when we paint the engine bay, uh, the uh, candy color is uh, has a silver base so we're going to spray these intercooler pipes of silver and then uh, not put the candy on them just put so uh, clear straight on top of the silver so uh, we got those set out and uh, we also got the uh, engine cover here um, that uh, we've uh, sprayed a little bit of heat adhesion promoter on it uh, the one thing about this is we had to put a little bit of body filler on a couple of deep scratches in the plastic and I sprayed adhesion promoter over that. I looked at the tech sheet and it didn't really specify if that was, you know, allowable or not. So hopefully that's not an issue. But anyway, we're going to epoxy prime this and uh, these intercooler pipes. And uh, also going to put um, the Sandable 2K uh, primer. We're using the U-Pole uh, primer for that. And uh, that will go on all that stuff as well. So we want to get it sanded out smooth for a nice surface. And... Uh, we just put some paper down on the floor just to keep dust down and I've also got to get up underneath there to uh, get the bottoms of uh, the frame rails and um, our cross member. So uh, anyway, all right, well, that's uh, that's it. We'll go ahead and get it sprayed now and uh, show you what it looks like when we're done. Mixing up a little primer here for the high build. I've already got the uh, epoxy sprayed on. We're using the U-poles we showed you earlier. Uh, this stuff is uh, pretty versatile. It's uh, you know, it can be mixed as a filler primer with a 3 to 1, or you can mix it as a primer surfacer with like 3 to 1 to 1 half, or as a sealer uh, with uh, 3 to 1 to 1. And so uh, we're, gonna, we're just going to do a, a primer surfacer and uh, mix it that way. So we've already had it shaken up. We're just going to go ahead and uh, pour it up now. If you like our uh, homemade uh, funnel here.
what we got the priming done for tonight. And uh, Matt, he's over here cleaning up, putting stuff up. <laughs> and uh, so uh, it turned out pretty good. Um, we did our engine cover and uh, intercooler pipes and a couple of brackets there that go in the suspension. And uh, the uh, priming job went okay. I had one little issue, you know, with everything so tight, I was uh, in here and uh, bumped my spray gun and it created a little line right there, as you can see. And uh, in an attempt to try to fill that, uh, coming over every few minutes and hitting it with a gun, I created a big run. So, you know, we're just a couple of amateurs, a couple of rookies over here trying to, trying to do this, but uh, that's the kind of stuff we got to figure out now and work it out during the primer and uh, not have that happen when we uh, get ready to paint it. So we'll, f we'll sand that out and uh, see what it looks like. Uh, you know, we'll probably wait a couple of days before we sand this and uh, see if it shrinks up any and then uh, maybe sand it on Friday night and uh, put um, sealer on it on Friday night and then get up on Saturday morning and do the base coat, clear coat. So it's supposed to be nice uh, weather again on Friday and Saturday. So uh, we'll heat this, uh, our garage up to about 75 degrees and let it stay like that for the next couple of days. <laughs> Little compressor kicking on there perfect time anyway that's it we'll uh, we'll shut it down and uh, anybody got any thoughts on that uh, fixing that run is it just as simple as sanding it out um, also on the adhesion promoter if you uh, saw that question I had earlier if anybody's got any thoughts on that uh, let me know thanks everybody goodbye